Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, as you see, the new power supply has arrived. It arrived uh, about 2 o'clock this afternoon. So, it's $22 on Amazon. I'll post the link. Now, this is uh, a 12-volt output at 5 amps, completely variable. And all I really did was uh, made a nice, neat splice and spliced it onto a magnetic lock-on. So I've got it on the outside rail. Now it has a complete uh, variable output from 3 to 12 volts, full 5 amps. It has a display that shows uh, what voltage that you're at. Uh, for right now, I've got it stuck to the top of a uh, Lionel transformer, as you see, with a couple of sticky tabs. Turn the power on. On the rail is the Mark's 1998 diesel. Watch this. Okay, that's uh, 6.39 volts. You really can't tell on the camera. Okay, take it up. There's 7.2 volts. Now remember, we have 12 volts available at 5 amps. So let's take this up a bit. There's 7.7 .7 volts. Now you see, I'm going to get on a straightaway. I'll crank this on. As you see, there's plenty of power to run this locomotive. Plenty, plenty. It'll go so fast, it'll fly off this rail. That's right at 7.5 volts, right there. Unfortunately, you can't really tell on the camera what voltage is that. But this is running just absolutely splendidly. So it's $22, and it's not a transformer. So it doesn't hum, it doesn't buzz. It's cheaper than any AC transformer. It works better than any AC transformer. And what's nice about it is you can get this thing to absolutely crawl around the rail. There's 4.8 volts. And you can hear how quiet this is. Now I talked with my friend Terry in Australia. This is what he's using. So I looked on uh, eBay. Now you can find these for 10 bucks if you want to wait two months for them to come from China. Anyway, I checked on Amazon. They had it for $22.95 with free shipping. So I went ahead and uh, ordered it from Amazon. It was here in three days. So it plugs directly into power. You have a complete variable output. It is thermally protected. It is overload protected. And it is short circuit protected. So there is no downside to this that I have found. It has run every single locomotive I have tested and run absolutely perfectly. That's 6.3 volts right there. And of course, you can bring it up, let it stop, turn the power back on, and it runs backwards. Power off, and it runs forward. So, this runs absolutely splendidly. Like I said, it's cheaper than any AC transformer. It works better than any AC transformer. It's smaller than any AC transformer. It's cooler than any AC transformer. And it works better than any AC transformer. So if my experiments go as expected, I'm very likely going to convert the entire layout to run on DC. It is just exponentially more efficient than running these on AC. They're smooth, they're quiet, you have really, really incredible speed control. They're inexpensive. They're light. They're cool. It has a uh, display to show you what your actual output voltage is. In this case, we're at 5.9 volts. It seems rock solid stable. Let's take this up to 7 volts. There's 
with 12 volts available at 5 amps. As you see, this locomotive is running just absolutely splendidly on this power supply. So I want to thank Terry in Australia for the heads up on this. It works, there's no doubt about that at all. They're inexpensive, $22 free shipping. So I've tested lots of locomotives, so far so good. Everything has run absolutely splendidly. So let me bring this around, we'll stop it. All right, I'll pull this lock on off of here and we'll transfer it to the uh, second rail. This is the Lionel 2025. And as you see, now this is much heavier. As you see, that's uh, right at eight and a half volts. So we'll turn this up a bit. There's nine volts. Get on a straightaway. As you see, you can crank the power on. We've got five amps available. I don't want to derail this. Okay, there's 10.2 volts. As you see, that is more than fast enough. And we still have two volts available. So this is actually a really impressive controller. As I said, it's thermally protected, it's overload protected, and it is short protected. And you can really crank this thing down. There's six and a half volts. 6.4 volts right there. So let's see how that runs around. So as you see, let's take it a bit faster. Okay, take it up. There's eight volts. Too bad you can't see this display. It just doesn't show up on the camera at all. Anyway, that's eight volts, 8.7 volts, 8.07 volts. So we'll stop it there. Oops, focus the camera. It's raining. And uh, let's go to the inside rail. This is Lionel 8500. That's nine volts. You can hear how smoothly and quietly these run. Take it a bit faster. As you see, this works absolutely splendidly. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go back to the outside rail. Get this magnetic lock on off of here. Put it back on the outside rail and as you see, six volts, 6.3 volts. So you see this isn't very big. It does everything the transformer does. It's lighter, smaller, cheaper, cooler, quieter. It makes absolutely no noise at all. It has a digital readout. Fully adjustable from 3 volts to 12 volts with full 5 amps output. Now we know that none of these locomotives draw more than 2.4 amps. So it will run every single locomotive I own with no problem at all. As you see, this little controller is working just absolutely splendidly. 
that's 7.3 volts right there. It's smooth, it's quiet, it's efficient, it's inexpensive. Hard to beat that. You know, these uh, run better on DC than they ever ran on AC. Slow it down to an absolute crawl. You hear how quiet it is. Stop it. Reverse. Stop it. And forward. And if you crank the voltage on, this thing will fly. I mean, you can literally have this fly off the rail. Wait till it gets on the straight, I'll turn it up. Watch this. You can see how quickly it accelerates. So there's no way you can run this at uh, full output. This thing will literally fly off this table. And this is running just absolutely splendidly on this little power supply. And the neat thing about this is it's not a transformer, it's a power supply. Integrated circuits, so it doesn't make any noise, it doesn't get hot, it doesn't buzz or hum. It has a complete variable output with a digital readout. And as you see, this locomotive is running just absolutely splendidly on this power supply. It's actually quite impressive. $22 with free shipping. Like I said, if you order from China, it's $10, but it takes two months to get here. If you can trust anything coming from China now. Anyway, I'm really, really pleased with this. I had my doubts when I opened the box. It's really, really small. As you can see, you can fit it in your hand, virtually. But it'll do anything an AC transformer does, and it'll do it better. It's really quite incredible. Now, this locomotive is running just splendidly. That's right at 7.08 volts. So that's right at 7 volts. And as you see, this is running just absolutely perfectly. E unit works forward, reverse. It's smooth, it's quiet. This thing just barely gets warm. Now I've tested several locomotives. You just saw me test three. It runs the Marks locomotives with no problem. All of the Lionel. E units work. Even the electronic E units work. Okay, that's 7.6 volts right there. Let's take it up to... Uh, there's right on 8 volts. And it's nice having a digital readout because you can actually see what voltage you're using. Five amps available, so this will run any locomotive I have. And as you can see, you can get these things to just absolutely crawl. And listen how quiet this is. Stop it. This is actually quite amazing. That is running just absolutely splendidly. Anyway, just want to do a uh, video. I'll be doing lots of experiments with this, so you'll be seeing it. Anyway, I'll post the Amazon link. $22.95 with free shipping. Like I said, if you want to order it from China, it's $10, bucks, but it takes two months to arrive. And uh, it has a barrel plug on the uh, power side, so I just chopped it off, as you see, and neatly spliced it onto a magnetic lock-on. So, in any case, if everything goes as uh, expected, I'm going to be replacing all the transformers with these power supplies. This is just absolutely incredible. They're inexpensive. They're really, really small. They're powerful. Five amps. Absolutely amazing little device. Really impressed with this. Even has uh, mounting flanges so you can actually screw it down to uh, mount it. Like I said, I've got it mounted with a couple of sticky tabs right now just to the top of that transformer. But as you see, it has a digital readout. I wish you could see it, it just doesn't show up in the video. 
There, you can kind of see it now, 7.2 volts. If it's out of focus, you can see it. Seven point two volts. Anyway, just want to do a quick video on this. This is running just absolutely perfectly. Like I said, it's inexpensive. It's small. It's quiet. It makes no noise at all. It's just barely warm to the touch. It gives you infinite adjustment of your output voltage with a display. So it'll do anything an AC transformer will do, and it'll do it better. Stop it, and as you see, and you have plenty of power. I mean, I can get this thing literally to fly off this rail. So, in any case, I just wanted to do a first video on this. Adapter power regulated model KLY. And uh, like I said, I'll post the uh, Amazon link. So far, so good. No problems with this at all. It's really, really small. It's uh, powerful, it's efficient, pure DC with a regulated output, fully adjustable voltage, and a digital display. Really difficult to beat that for $22.95. So, in any case, just want to do a uh, quick video on this. I'll be doing uh, more experiments. I'll be testing lots and lots of locomotives, so I'll be posting lots of video on this. Anyway, I just want to do the first video on it. It works. I'm really impressed. So, thank you to Terry in Australia. Uh, I was looking for 12 volt power supplies and uh, he's been watching the experiments and he contacted me and said give this a try this is what I'm using and to my very great surprise this is just absolutely amazing so a special thank you to Terry Terry's trains in Australia and I uh, just want to do a quick video on this uh, power supply this works it works just absolutely splendidly 7.1 volts right there so, in any case, just want to do a video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.